Far too often in life, young people have to grow up fast for one reason or another. But when they do, it's awe-inspiring. That's the situation at Berkner High School where Michael Pitts has earned the admiration of his peers and teachers for his tremendous leadership. As a child, Michael had to quickly assume an increased role in his family due to some tragic circumstances. My dad is blind. He, uh, he could drive up to like maybe 12 or 15 years ago. So from very young, you know, he hasn't been able to do much. My mom's uh, been the driver and uh, my mom's had to mow the lawn, stuff like that that normally the guy would do. But uh, once I became old enough to do that kind of stuff, you know, it was always me mowing the lawn and then once I got my license, you know, I had to drive my dad everywhere. He knew how to do everything, but he just couldn't do it, so he would tell me how to do it. So, you know, I became kind of the handyman and the guy of the house. Despite the adversity that Michael has endured, he has excelled in many different areas. As the captain of the Ramblers award-winning country and western dance team, he's put the leadership skills that he's learned at home into practice. Last year, he was honored to lead the Ramblers as one of the opening acts of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And the captain having to lead the whole team through everything that uh, that the choreographers put on us, you know, trying to figure out, um, they wouldn't really tell us what to do, they would tell us what they want. So then we would have to, on the spot, think of something, some kind of move or some kind of throw that, uh, that we could get the whole team to do, you know, and make it look good. That was tough, trying to, trying to lead a whole team like that through something that was so, you know, big. Obviously, Michael Pitts is as fine a young man as you'll find and a great leader at home and in the community. Verizon Fios is proud to honor our youth, and for that reason, they'll be donating $1,000 to Berkner High School in his name.